Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about the portrait blur effect on Caden Live. So I'm just on pexels.com over here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for a portrait video. So this one actually looks really good. I like this one. It's a lady with her camera in the yellow jacket. And what I've done is I've actually already downloaded that. So we're going to switch over to Caden Live over here. And I'm just going to bring in that video into my project bin. Notice it's going to try to change my project settings. So I'm just going to cancel on that. And I'm going to keep it at 1080p with 24 frames per second. We'll bring this into our timeline. And notice that uh, this is actually just a silent video. So it's just of a lady that's taking a photo. So I can ungroup this and delete the audio track just so that we've got a cleaner, cleaner layout on here. I'm just gonna zoom in so I'll give you a better idea of what we're doing. So if you're going to export this out, portrait mode, you'll have this black area over here where there's just nothing, it's just black. Now you can actually add a background to that. So a background can be anything. It could be a picture, another video, a color. So I'll demonstrate how to do that. I'm just gonna move this up to the video track number two so that we've got, we can place a background underneath because whatever is on top gets played on top. So I'm just going to add a color clip here. And I'll pick a color, let's just say yellow, and I'll bring that into my timeline. And I'll extend this out to match the same length of the video. So what that does is it just added a yellow background to our video. And that's actually kind of nice because, you know, it matches her jacket, which is yellow. So you can do that, you know, to get rid of the black space. Another thing that you can do is, I'm just going to delete that out is you can duplicate this video track. So I will just um, copy this and I'll paste it somewhere over here and I'll just bring them aligned one on top of the other. Now what I'll do now is I wanna focus on the video that's below. So I'll just turn off or just hide the video track number two over here so that we can focus on what's going on uh, down here. There are two effects that I'm gonna apply. I'm going to apply the transform effect. So what this allows us to do is allows us to zoom in to this video. So let's try 200% zoom. And we'll center that back into our um, canvas over here. Notice there's still some black background. So we need to zoom in a bit more. I'm going to try 320%. And I'll center that, and that looks pretty good to me. So all of the black space is, is gone. The second effect that I'm going to try is, that I'm going to add, is the blur effect. Oops. Here we go. So I'm just going to add this in. And you can have your effects stacked on here. You can delete, move the effects up or down. Just going to leave it as is, and I'm going to increase the amount of blur that we've got here. Just to give it, maybe we'll put it at 700. Should be a good blur. Now we'll show this video again, video two on top. And this is what we got. So you see effects like this on TV, social media. You know, it's a good way to add a bit of dyna dynamism to the video otherwise this would just be a black space so that's pretty much how you do it um, just be careful because adding a lot of effects tends to slow your computer down uh, but I promise you when you render it it's gonna look pretty nice so that's pretty much it for today's tutorial we've done a series of tutorials in our playlist below and I've linked it in the description best way to support this channel to support this content is to like and subscribe Hope you learned something, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.